Ciao. Hello, my Leo friends. This is going to be a reading for what Spirit wants you to know throughout September and to keep your mind on, okay? Let's see what Spirit's got information for you guys, my Leo friends. The Two of Swords, indecision, being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Uh, a stalemate, pretending there's no problem. I don't think you guys are pretending there's no problem. I do think, however, there very well could be a stalemate in a situation. I've got some cards upside down. I actually think that a lot of you could be feeling upside down in your emotions about, about what people think about you and about what you think of others and all of that sort of thing. Uh, who you can trust as well. Who brings value into your life? Who brings wisdom into your life? All of these sorts of things I think are questions that are on your mind. Problem is we can't know all of those questions all the time. You know, sometimes we, we can, I mean, we can go inward and ask the divine to give us clarity. For sure we can. You know, we can uh, always ask the divine to come and enlighten us in ways that we have not been enlightened to as of yet. However, a lot is for the divine to know in certain times and not for us to have the answers on. And a large portion of the time, I believe, it's because if we had those said answers, it's entirely possible we'd make different choices, but we need to make them for our soul's growth. All right, let's see what we got going on here for you guys. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate pretending there's no problem. Tell me about this, please. Well, it has to do with two people. The divine's trying to bring together or a choice between two people. So definite decisions are being made here. Perhaps um, there is an offer coming your way and you have got to make a choice as to how it's going to affect your love life or this thing you've got going on in your love life. We have the five of pentacles. I wonder if someone's at a make or break moment and they're trying to decide whether to go it alone or to stay with their person they're with. There is a huge pentacle coming on here that's from the hand of the divine. I wonder if, if a lover or a husband or wife or I don't know what somebody, this could be about business as well. I wonder if somebody doesn't want you to take this offer, opportunity and very well you feel left out in the cold because of it. However, it's entirely possible you may leave them out in the cold because you may feel forced by them to take this opportunity or to not take the opportunity you want. Going into hangman mode, that doesn't surprise me at all. Trying to figure out what to do, which direction to head next. Bring clarity and understanding to your life and wisdom and knowledge. Ask the divine to show you what's the path forward, what's the best way to go, what should I do? Well, we have an ending and y'all could be dealing with the Scorpio. Whatever is going to happen here in hanged man mode and this pentacles offer coming is really going to transform something in your life. Yes, it is. It's going to transform. What's it going to transform? It's going to transform how someone viewed you and how they viewed the situation because I see an apology coming your way. Someone's been all up in arms or stressed about a situation and possibly been forcing their will onto you or what they want to have happen. I see you guys going into hangman mode to find clarity. And I think when you do, someone may end up being afraid that it's an ending because communication will not be there from you. And uh, I think that's when an apology will ensue and someone very well may see the error of the ways. That's just what I'm getting intuitively by looking at the cards. Message from spirit, please. Okay, we also have message from hidden realms, please. Perhaps you feel if you make this decision that you will lose the person you love. Or perhaps you're not sure of which person it is that you love. We have the altar priestess. All right, message from the angels. One more.
Oh, that's the one I want right there. Oh, beautiful. All right, so we have, if this is a workplace scenario that you're dealing with here, uh, a decision needing to be made, someone may end up deciding to leave a job or if a job has let you go, there is going to be another opportunity come in. However, you need to go inward and ask the divine for clarity about which way to head forward from here. I believe there is going to be an apology come your way that is going to all head towards this uh, Ace of Pentacles. Also, whatever's going on here, this could be someone choosing between uh, two people and the offer comes to you, but you realize that someone else is left out in the cold and and you kind of feel sad because maybe they were a friend of yours even and, and you know, there's no communication. It feels awkward to communicate with them now, but going inward to ask for clarity. There could be an ending coming here, either to a job or a lover situation, someone making a choice between two and an apology about that said ending. This no communication phase here is because this person's in hanged man mode. Let's keep that in mind. And you could just be dealing with a Scorpio, but it's entirely possible. But taking this time out is going to transform how this other person views you, my friend. And will actually start to realize, uh, come at you with more so of what you deserve. We are gathering on you our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside you from the primal place? The form of what you are growing has yet to take shape and it is exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and pull, push back, sorry, when entering a, any kind of new relationship, it's okay to admit if you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow the new version of life to take shape through you on behalf of your partner in life, spirit. You have made it to a new level of awakening and contributing, and we are so excited to see where this will take you next. We're so proud of you. Let's read the altar princess. First of all, we have, if someone is concerned about finances here and being left out in the cold financially, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of that. how that will happen. Have faith. It's a matter of time, perfect timing, divine timing. Let's read the altar priestess, card number 39. The stage is set and the world is waiting for you to take your place in sacred meditation and prayer. As your ally, the altar priestess brings the ritual of, of reverent interaction with the mundane world. You're being required to now see everything as sacred, all of life as a meditation and every act as a prayer of devotion. When you're able to perceive the world in this way, your question will lead you to the appropriate answer. If all is sacred, how can anything be wrong? Ask how you can shift your consciousness to see your circumstances through the eyes of the divine and you will realize how perfect and sacred everything is right now. As a challenger, are you degrading yourself in any way or lessening the importance of your impact in the world? Have you allowed someone to dishonor you? Have you failed to stand up for your beliefs in order to get something you want? The altar priestess warns that continuing on this path could bring you trouble as you may be aligning yourself with lower ideas as your companions. Another message she brings you is this, never sell yourself short when it comes to your intuition. You're always led to the highest ground when you follow your inner guidance. An important responsibility is brought to you when the altar priestess comes as your challenger. You're being required to be a spiritual warrior and to have courage. Be ready, respect yourself, and believe in your purpose as you're being chosen to be the embodiment of the sacred in the world. In essence, you're challenged to be the best you that you can be out there. You can do it, and spirit is counting on it. I hope this re resonates with somebody out there. If it does, leave a message. Have a great September and I'll talk to you guys again soon.